Mary Jean is, or Jean, or Mary Jean is the system administrator of a big website. The website requires multiple web servers and database servers to run. Each web server costs $40 per month, and each database server costs $60 per month. To get an idea of the monthly bill her company will have to pay, Mary Jean makes a little table. So this is, this is the number of potential web servers, and this is the number of database servers. So these are different scenarios. What is the expression that describes a monthly hosting bill for n web servers and m database servers? So let's think about what's going on right here. When she has one web server and one database server, well, she has to pay $40 per month for that one web server and $60 a month for that one database server. And when you add that together, you get $100. Now here, in the second scenario, she has two web servers and one database server. So here she's multiplying 40 times two because that's how many web servers she has. So she's gonna have to pay $80 a month for the web servers and still $60 per month for the one database server. Let's skip to one that's more interesting. So here she has five web servers and two database servers. So she pays $40 per month for each of the five web servers and she pays $60 a month for each of the two database servers. So if you wanted to write an expression that describes the monthly hosting bill for n web servers and m database servers, well, you see here, you see this pattern. She pays $40 per month for every web server that she has. So if she has n web servers, she's going to have to pay $40 per month times per server times n servers. And then she's paying $60 a month per database server. So if she has M database servers, she's gonna to have to pay $60 per month per server times the number of servers. So this right over here is the expression for the monthly hosting billing cost. And you can see that right over here. If you view this as M, or sorry, if you view this as N, the number of web servers, and this as M, you see that when N is 20 and M is 10, then you get 40 times 20 plus 60 times 10. 40 times N, plus 60 times M, and then you would get your actual value.